Hello, I'm Jim from Electrical Exam Academy, and I wanted to have a little class here on motors and locked rotors. Uh, what we have here is a cutaway of a squirrel cage three-phase induction motor. Uh, you'll have to excuse my drawing, it's pretty much the best I could do. The, the motor is made up of the case, the stator, the squirrel cage rotor, and the rotor is made up of iron rods so you literally have to picture a squirrel cage now induction happens when an iron rod is passed through or what we call cut by an electromagnetic field so basically when you pass an iron rod by a magnet the magnetic field will induce a voltage onto the rod now what we mean by induction motor is the current flow into the rotor is induced from the rotating magnetic field of the stator. The rotor here is in locked position. So this means it's not turning. When you first turn on the motor, what happens is you energize the stator with the rotating magnetic field. That magnetic field starts cutting the rods at synchronous speed. Synchronous speed is determined by the number of stator poles so let's say this stator will rotate the magnetic field at 1500 rpm when you start cutting the rods in the squirrel cage at 1500 rpm you induce voltage onto the rods um, this will cause current to flow in the rods turning each of them into their own electromagnet the rate at which the magnetic field cuts the rod determines the current flow from the stator to the rotor. So this is where all the inrush locked rotor current comes from. Uh, since the rotor is not turning, the rods are being cut at the rate of 1500 RPM. Now, for a split second after you apply power, you have the rotation of the stator's magnetic fields cutting the rod at synchronous speed, which is max speed, turning the rotor into uh, you know, a very strong electromagnet. The magnetic field of the rotor is then attracted to the magnetic field of the stator and will start to chase. Now, let's say, let's say a half a second after the power is applied, the rotor is now turning at 800 RPM. So you can subtract 800 from the synchronous speed of 1500 that means the rods of the squirrel cage are being cut at only 700 rpm now opposed to the initial 1500 rpm as the rotor speeds up the bars of the rotor will be cut less and less by the stator's rotating magnetic field uh, therefore you'll have less current draw by the rotor which will decrease the stator's current as well so hopefully you can keep this picture in your mind as we move forward into motors. Thank you.